So I took a little bit of a risk getting this power supply on Amazon because there's literally no reviews on this thing. Because this looks so intense, all the wires that you get, I'm actually going to put these wires on the actual power supply with you. That way you can see it is not the hardest thing to do. These are not the threaded type of wires. They're plastic. And I'll be really honest, they look like a bit of a warm white. They look like a much warmer kind of white. Probably remove that sticker. So even if you don't get this power supply, it's pretty much always going to be the same. You see how these have like clips on them? And then you also see the upper slots on the actual power supply. As you can see, it labels it right on the power supply for you. Not every power supply is going to do that, but it's one of the benefits of buying something that's a little bit higher quality, especially for somebody that is a beginner and somebody that is trying to build their computer for the very first time, PSU. So because this says PSU, power supply, I'm gonna plug this into the actual power supply. As you can see on the power supply, it says CPU and PCIe. So because of that, again, I'm showing you PCIe, power supply. We're gonna go ahead and plug this into the PCI slot. Move that over there. See this side, even though those connectors look similar, that's the SATA and the Molex options. So, PSU, we know this side is going to go to whatever area your motherboard is. Connect that down at the bottom. You don't need to install every single one of these wires. I'm just doing this to show you that it's not just to kind of get you familiar with how this works. It's how you set up power supply. It comes with some screws in the bag. It comes with some cable management, zip ties. You also got the Velcro tie. Overall, I think that this is a great little power supply. I have not used it for longevity. However, you see the warranty there. You need to keep in mind, even though you bought this on Amazon, if you bought this brand new, that warranty also applies. It is not just Amazon's 30 money, 30 day money back or whatever Amazon says on the listing. You also get the manufacturer's warranty. Probably should have uh, removed all the wires, but we don't need to. You're gonna make sure the fan is pointed outward. That way, it exhausts the you know the fan. And depending on the power supply that you actually end up getting, this is hybrid, so you can you know swap to either hybrid or eco is another one. And basically, what eco means is that. The fan is only gonna kick on when it actually needs the fan to kick on. But I like to have the fan on all of the time, especially, again, I know I've been saying this a lot, but especially with the, the current generation of graphics cards and the current generation of processors. Because I'm sure you all noticed the i9 over there but not only do we have an i9 we're also or this is technically a lie as of the moment but we're also going to be putting a 4080 in this the 4090 is kind of overkill the the display port on the back of the graphics card can't even output what the graphics card is actually capable of do, do, do you understand what I'm saying at and getting at, boys? Okay, so this actually might come into a lot of use up in here. Overall, highly recommend this thing. The specs for the power supply, 
for those of you that do want to know right there but uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed check out one of these videos and we'll get you guys the next one peace